Today we're going to talk about area of a circle and remember that area is the space that's inside the circle. Now our formula here is area equals pi r squared. And let's talk about that for just a moment. We're going to use pi, that's 3.14. Don't use the pi button on your calculator, it kind of messes it up a little bit. And then we're going to use r squared, the radius squared. So remember on our calculators, the squared button is this button right there. So we're going to use him today as well. Now one thing I need you to notice is you have to use the radius. You don't have a choice. Now let's just review. Remember radius is the distance halfway across the circle and the diameter goes all the way across. So if they give you the diameter, you just have to divide by two. You've got to remember this is very, very important. So if you haven't grabbed your calculator, paper, pencil, Go ahead and pause this video for a second, grab your stuff, come back, let's practice. Alrighty, welcome back. So let's look here at our first example. They've already given us what? That's right, the radius. The radius is eight feet. So we can use that because R is already there. So let's write our formula. A equals pi R squared area equals 3.14 times 8 squared. So let's grab our calculators. So we have 3.14 times 8 squared equals, and it's 290, 200, oops, 96 hundreds, and it's feet squared, because you're talking about the area inside. And remember, when we talked about it earlier, those are those little boxes inside it. All right, so let's look at this one. This is the diameter. The diameter is 14. But if you recall, when we go back up here to our formula, we cannot use diameter. So we have to remember divide by 2. So the radius is what? What's 14 divided by 2? 7. So area equals, oops, pi r squared. Area equals 3.14 times seven squared. So grab your calculator. So 3.14 times seven squared equals 153 and 86 hundredths, and of course that's inches, so it's inches squared. All right, so let's, let's do the practice. You know me, I'm gonna give you a little head start. What did they give you? That's right, the diameter. So the diameter is nine. Now this one's gonna be a little tricky. You cannot use nine. You have to find the radius. What is nine divided by two? And you can use your calculator. So nine divided by two equals four and a half. So there's your radius. All right, go ahead and pause this video and you do it. All right, welcome back. So that's area equals pi r squared. Area equals 3.14 times 4.5 squared. This one, that's the number that we're gonna use. Now, yes, you can use your calculator. So it's 3.14 times 4.5 squared equals, and then that is going to be 63.585, and it's meters squared. How'd you do? Good job. All right, our last example. If you notice, they've gone ahead and given us the radius, so that's easy. No extra steps involved. So R is equal to 19 meters. So A equals pi R squared. A equals 3.14 times 9, 19, excuse me, 19 squared. So here's our calculator. 
3.14 times 19 squared equals, ooh, that's a big number, but you know what? It's right. So a, a oops, hang on one second. A equals 1,133 and 50. Oops, sorry about that. My, hang on, there we go. 54 meters squared. Sorry, I had to hold my pet paper down. It was moving around a little bit. There we go. Actually, that looks terrible, doesn't it? Make sure you see your decimal right there. Alrighty, guys. Good luck. You can do it. Bye.